Hey, First Fam, uh, welcome back to the uh, First Pour, uh, our video that we put out just on various different things, going deeper either on the sermon or other important kinds of, of topics. Uh, this week we've got uh, the wonderful Erin Fenelon, and uh, she's with us. Uh, she's our lo- Champagne location pastor, and uh, just recently, uh, it was a week or two ago, a birthday and 15 years oh, of service yep. here. Yeah, I'm sure yep. you're... Thank, glad that we're I pointed that out. Quickly, but, how about um, that? <laughs> but we're so grateful for her uh, being on the team. Uh, but today we wanted to talk uh, just a little bit about what it looks like to to parent well, to, to disciple your kids, to walk alongside uh, kids, and and um, you have five kids and. Uh, yeah. So you've got a little bit of experience. Um, bit. You know, I, 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 Kinsey and I don't have kids yet, so I'm actually looking forward to just learning a little bit from you <laughs> uh, today, uh, just about what it might look like to to, to walk intentionally with with some kids. So I, I think it sounds like you've got a few things to share, maybe yeah. three, three kind of tips, uh, yeah. primary tips. So yeah. Yeah. And I always say, by no means am I an expert at parenting. I feel like I fail at it daily. And that's amazing to have God's grace that every day is new. And so just like you as being a parent, you're going to have great days. You're going to have not so great days, um, but we always start new every morning. And so my first bit of parenting advice is... um, before you become a parent. So I kind of broke it down to like before a parent, kind of the toddler preschool years, and then older, like walking into those teen years. I think before you become a parent, you have to remember that um, God is going to give you the information that you need to be the parent that you need to be for that child. Mm -hmm. So don't let other people tell you, you have to co-sleep. You have to put them in their crib. You have to have them on a three-hour schedule. You let them do whatever they want. You really have to read as much parenting books as you want to read, but trust your gut. God created you to be their parent for a reason, and so you have to do what makes you the best parent. And if you value sleep and sleep is important to you, then you do what you need to do in order to get enough sleep to be the best parent that you can be. Hmm. And so... Parenting is hard, and your in-laws will have amazing advice, and your parents will have great advice. But ultimately, at the end of the day, you are this child's parent, and God has gifted you in that area. So um, just pray, see what works for you, and, and keep evolving. You know, keep doing things to help you be a better parent. That's this, good. So I, yeah, sorry. No. So like, it just sounds like being in, just being intentional with with who you are. Like, there's probably multiple ways to parent well. Absolutely. Just like, you know, and with all the, I imagine the advice coming from different directions can be mm-hmm. overwhelming at times. So just kind of sticking to something and and living it out intentionally. Yeah. 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 And then you're going to walk into those toddler years or preschool years and even early elementary years um, where your kids are constantly saying, mom, dad, play with me. Will you do this with me? And every opportunity you can say yes. There's no greater joy than your kid hearing you say yes and you follow through with it. So put your device down. Put your computers down, shut off the TV, and just play with your kids. And so they want you to sit on the floor. They want you to play a game with them and let them lead it. You don't have to be the one to always give them advice. Well, is this this dinosaur going to attack the other one? Let them lead that whole conversation of what they want the imaginative play to be and then just follow them along on that journey. Um, But truly put down any device that you have and engage fully with them. And it doesn't have to be for two hours. It can be for Mm -hmm. 10 minutes. They just want to hear you say yes, and they want to see you follow through. And so I think that's super important when they're little. And then we also have teens, and we just sent one off to college, and we have one in kindergarten. So we have tons and tons of ages in our house. And so um, as we've walked into those high school years or um, upper elementary years, we have just realized that we have to be intentional and help them set boundaries because they would be on their phones or their device all day long if they could. Mm -hmm. And so we have set limits for our kids on how long they can be on their device, what apps they can be on longer. Um, We don't allow devices in bedrooms. We don't allow devices in bathrooms. Um, We try to safe proof them because literally their frontal cortex is not developed at this age. And so when they make a bad decision and they say, I don't know why I did that, it is truly their answer. And it is the truth. They do not know why they did the thing that they did because their brain isn't developed. Mm. They just did it because maybe it sounded fun or um, they just wanted to. Uh, But truly, you have to help guide them. Or they will make bad decision after bad decision. Mm -hmm. 
And so we just try to safe proof some of those things. We have uh, different apps on their phones that help them stay accountable to themselves for them to stay accountable with us. Um, but also you're not there to be their friend. You're there to be their parent. You get to be friends with them later on in life because mm -hmm. of um, all of the things that you do while they're growing up. And so don't try to be their friend, be their parent, be their coach, be their mentor, help guide them to be the best human that they can be. And God will guide you. He will give you wisdom. And I think all of this stems from you have to be in God's word. Hmm. You have to be growing in your relationship with him in order to help your kids grow in relationship with him and yeah. grow into responsible humans that we want them to be. Um, and so it doesn't end there because we just sent one off to college. You might think, oh, they hit 18, they're gone. Um, but they still need parents. They still need advice. They still need guidance. They still need your money. So continue uh, being that parent for them. It just looks yeah. a little different, you know, like when they ask advice, then give it and uh, just continue to pray for them, pray for them daily, pray for their spouse, pray for their uh, future. Um, just allow them to be the person that they are and guide them the best way that you can towards Jesus. And so, I mean, parenting's hard. It's always going to be hard and your kids mess up and you mess up. And it's important for to apologize to them. Be graceful with yourself. Be graceful with them. Yeah. And hard, hard but worth it. Yeah. So worth it. Yeah. yeah. So yeah. worth it. Cool. Yeah. Well, thank you so much, Aaron, for sharing yeah, a little bit for of your here. wisdom experience. Um, so with that, I uh, hope, hope you good luck being a parent. I mean, God go with you. And uh, we'll see you next week on The First Pour. Have a great one.